All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Susanna Donato, and I'm the arts instructional coach uh, with OCDSB. I'm going to go into a presentation, and what we can do is after my presentation, you are welcome to uh, ask me the questions that you might have for me uh, in the arts. All right. So I welcome you to the grade nine arts overview. Uh, we're going to just look at the overview for visual arts, music, drama, dance, and integrated arts for grade nine. So these are the arts that I just mentioned are offered for grade nine. It'll look different at each school as not um, all of the arts will be there it all depends on the numbers of the students and the student interests. The focus for the arts is on introduction to the art, exploration of the mediums, creating, presenting, and communication their ideas, thoughts, and feelings through the art form. There are no prerequisites. They are open credit courses. The importance of the arts in the curriculum. Just a really quick quote to share with you that uh, the experiences offer many other modes and ways of experience and learning. And this is what I have seen through my many years of experience is that through the arts, uh, it allows students to explore and to express their ideas and understanding and their knowledge in different formats. Part of learning all of the arts is the creative process. And what's fantastic about this is it gives students opportunities to try things out, to explore, to experiment, uh, to create something, then go back, revise it, change it, um, and learn along the way. Uh, they are reflecting from the feedback they are receiving from both their classmates as well as their educators. All of this helps with the process of learning and developing their art further. So we'll begin briefly and I will just give you an overview of each of the arts. So the grade nine AVI 10 visual arts uh, focuses on creating studio artwork and appreciation, learning about arts throughout history and time in various mediums. Uh, creating in various mediums, whether students are drawing or painting using uh, sculpture or environmental arts or even uh, current technologies like video and so on. Students are using the elements and principles of design and with those they will be developing their skills uh, for techniques and the tools as well as the mediums. In music for grade nine, there's both uh, uh, in-class uh, timetable music as well as band, which is offered outside of class. So that would be like early morning before classes begin as an idea. Um, for, student, uh, for music, students will develop the technique skills using elements of music and will be able to apply them to uh, when they are performing and they are presenting. Uh, both informal and formal performances. Drama, ADA 10, is about taking on roles and creating in a world of imagination, learning to work together to create, share, and perform. Students will develop their techniques and their skills in the elements of drama, such as role, character, relationship, time and space, focus and emphasis and tension. Dance is introduced, uh, students are introduced to movement as a form of expression, uh, to ex using their bodies to express ideas, story, and feelings through movement. Students get to develop techniques of the elements of the dance, such as body, space, time, energy, and relationship. And with that, they can compose and create their own creations. In dance, they get to experience, share, and perform together. 
And lastly is the integrated arts. Um, this course here is a, uh, it provides opportunities for creation as well as uh, appreciation of all of the arts. It gets to focus on various arts disciplines. So students get to uh, research and experience a variety of different forms of arts that interest them. And through the many challenges that they work with, they can combine the arts two or more at a time in order to work uh, uh, in this course. And at this point in time, if you have any questions, I'm just going to get out of here and I'll stop presenting. All right, so we have a question in the chat and So we have a few moments. If anybody has any questions, you're welcome to put them in the chat or ask away. So I don't see any questions. Everyone is okay. Uh, your next session begins um, this one goes to 735 and your next session will be at 740. So if you do have any questions, there is the Q&A box that you can go into uh, or the chat. I have both open. All right. The chat is disabled. Vianney, can you help out? <laughs> there may be people who are asking questions and can't get into it. All right, so I have, thank you, Gregory. Oh, all right, so I guess the questions should come through the Q&A, awesome. Uh, yes, you can, Abdi, take the arts every year. Uh, so. Grade nine, they're open credit courses as well as grade 10. So that means there's no prerequisites and uh, you can take them every year for the four years that you are in high school. And you can focus on the stream that you're interested in, whether it is a college or university uh, direction. Uh, does the school supply art supplies or do students buy their own for visual arts? Um, typically the school uh, usually does everything um, but some schools might ask for a small art fee uh, in order to help with the consumables. Uh, because there are so many materials that are constantly being used every, um, every day, they are consumed and so they need to be replenished. Um, but I would always encourage if art is your thing, definitely create yourself, uh, if possible, um, an art kit of your own. The teacher will always guide you with what are the best tools and techniques, uh, tools that you would need to get initially to get started. Um, and especially if you plan to continue on in art, it would be good to collect your own tools uh, on a regular basis so you can build it up um, in, in that field, definitely. If there are any issues regarding the cost, there is support from the schools as well. Is it possible to take drama, visual art, and music all at once, or is there a limit? There is, unfortunately. So there is a limit. It is uh, one art uh, typically per year. And also what I would encourage is if you know, uh, for grade nine and grade 10, you can technically start uh, and go into either one without having any um, uh, experience. And so that's great. Um, but then you need to decide uh, which, which direction you would like to go in for grade 11 and 12. Awesome. And yeah, let's see. Uh, if they chose visual arts as one of their French courses, how much conversation, writing, et cetera, will there be? Um, I don't think visual arts is offered in French. Uh, I believe it's I don't believe it is. And um, so, but there, 
you're always talking. Conversation is always ongoing. Um, there is our history that will be done. Typically, uh, teachers might do it once a week or they might um, uh, spend uh, a couple of weeks uh, consecutively focusing on art history per month. It just, it just depends on what works best uh, for that particular class and teacher. Um, uh, but you, re you're really going to be focusing on the creation part. Um, and uh, definitely the art history that will be through videos, slides, all sorts of things, all sorts of forms, which will help students um, uh, learn about history and hopefully influence uh, and their understanding of why things were created a certain way. So then they can learn themselves on how to create and why things are done a certain way. Wonderful. Any last questions before you head out? Uh, I have to double check. Okay, thank you, Kelly. Definitely double check. Um, uh, in grade nine, you can only take one art at a time. Uh, so you can take a visual arts in uh, grade nine and then grade 10, you can take a drama. Uh, in the later years of high school, is it possible to take more than one art elective without missing out on courses and would make you look good? Um, um, so, it, yes, you would, it would look good, but it also depends what you're going into. Um, so you are welcome to take uh, definitely one of the, uh, one of the arts uh, for grade 11 and 12, um, but it just depends. Like, I mean, if you're doing it because you wanna focus on the art, then that's great. You, you're encouraged to, and you should, um, but um, um, what was I going to say? Is it possible to take one or more of the electives without missing? Of course, is that what I mean? It just, it depends uh, because some students might find if they're going into a totally different field that they may not have room for the art that they're interested in because they are specializing and taking more courses in another area. So it just depends on where things are at once you reach grade 11. But think about grade nine right now. <laughs> Last question I have, what will day one and day two uh, schedule look like? So it, again, it depends. So you would have a uh, day one would be like uh, uh, A, B in the morning and in the afternoon, C, D. And day two would be A, B in the morning and D, C. So the afternoon classes are the ones that flip, okay? All right, I don't wanna keep you and make you late for your next session. You have uh, five minutes before you now um, move on to your next workshop. Have a great night. Thank you so much. Oh, Abdi, you've got a last question. Uh, okay, I already mentioned that. No problem, Kelly, thank you.
Hi everyone, my name is Susanna Donato and I'm the Arts Instructional Coach. Today I'll be sharing with you the Grade 9 uh, Arts Overview. Just going to go into my slides to share with you and you are welcome to think of some questions for the end of the slideshow. All right. So again, welcome to the grade nine arts. And it will be focusing on visual arts, music, drama, dance, and integrated arts. What are the arts and what do they look like in grade nine? As I mentioned, they are the visual arts, music, drama, dance, and integrated arts. And it'll look different at each school. Focus is on introduction to the art, exploration of the mediums, creating, presenting, and communicating communication. There are no prerequisites. They are considered open credit courses. The importance of the arts in the curriculum. What I love about the arts is that it offers students many different ways of demonstrating their understanding and learning through experiencing a variety of different arts mediums. It's about communication in various forms of arts that we might be passionate about. The creative process is what's used in being able to explore and create. Uh, it's about starting off with exploring and experimenting, producing your rough copies, your ideas, and getting feedback from both your classmates and your teachers so that you can then look back at your work, reevaluate it, experiment, change it up, and grow with the learning that you have done throughout this process. We're gonna begin with visual arts and I will give a brief overview for each of the subjects. So visual arts AVI 1.0, the focus is on creating studio and artwork as well as appreciation history. Creating in various mediums, they might be drawing, painting, sculpture, uh, might be using uh, media techniques such as video, film, uh, animation, and so many others. Uh, they will learn the elements and principles of design and they will, the basics will be learning the skills for the techniques, the tools, and how to use the different mediums. Music. There's timetable music, which is regular in class music, and there's also band which is outside of class. It's offered usually in early morning. Um, the music is about developing um, techniques and skills using the elements of music, such as pitch, melody, harmony, tonality, duration, beat, meter, rhythm, tempo, dynamics, and so many others to be able to express uh, themselves. And they will then use those elements to apply them in their performances and their presentations, both formal and informal presentations. Drama. Drama is about taking on roles and creating in a world of imagination, learning to work together to create, to share, and to perform, developing techniques and skills in the elements of drama, such as role and character, relationship, time and place, focus and emphasis and tension. Dance. Dance introduces students to movement as a form of expression, to express their ideas, stories, their feelings through movement, to develop techniques of the elements of dance, such as body, space, time, energy and relationship. Through their experiences, they get to share and they get to perform. Integrated arts is an opportunity for creation and appreciation. They get to analyze works in different uh, arts disciplines. They get to integrate different disciplines together through the challenges of working with a variety of different materials and mediums, uh, they get to put them together, including drama, dance, media arts, music, and visual arts. 
If you have any questions at this time, I'm going to stop presenting and you can put your questions uh, in the Q&A at the bottom. I'll open that up for you. If you have any questions for me, you can type it in and I'm happy to respond to any questions that you might have. could be on what a timetable might look like, um, a schedule uh, for a particular art, materials. Uh, will there be a musical at the end of the year? Uh, Uh, yes. Uh, well, typically, a uh, musical might happen throughout more than once throughout the year. So there's definitely opportunities for performances. Yes. Um, uh, animation. So animation really, it just depends on the teacher. Um, most often, I have students uh, requesting animation. That's something that I actually go in myself and provide workshops on animation. Um, and uh, there are clubs that might have uh, an animation club in your school. So uh, definitely using technology in the arts is one of the more recent, especially animation, one of the more recent fields that they're getting into. Uh, are there typically uh, drama clubs with the end of the year performances? Uh, there's definitely drama clubs. There's many arts clubs uh, in your schools definitely look into them and, and join uh, because these are the same people you'll be taking classes with. So it's, it'll be a ton of fun. Um, and there's performances, not just at the end of the year, oftentimes it's, it's throughout the semester. So there might be some, something going on halfway through. So for example, if it's in the first semester, drama students might actually create a performance for Remembrance Day. Uh, uh, or even for any one of the holidays. So it, there's, there's always things going on, definitely. Any other questions? Definitely. Uh, we encourage all of our students, um, uh, we highlight clubs all the time. You do not need to be in that course. So you might be taking visual arts and yet you want to be in a drama club, definitely do that. So everything is open to you. There's no prerequisites to getting into a club. Uh, the plays just depend. Uh, they're not the same for each school. It's. Uh, whatever the teacher might find has been a positive experience with students. Oftentimes they might be explored alongside the students of options of things that they are doing. But it's not always a play. Uh, there's many different things that they might create, such as tableaus. Um, um, they might have performances in spoken word. So there's many different areas in uh, drama that include performance, but not necessarily a play every time. All right, so it is 7.50. I think we have five more minutes before this session is up. If you have any other questions for me, I'm happy to respond to them. My child is very interested in the arts. Is Canterbury the best choice or are there uh, enough art electives in all schools? So Canterbury is an art school. So they'll have a larger um, uh, selection of courses. They will have more time spent on the arts throughout 
the time that the student is there for four years. Uh, in order to get into Canterbury, there is a competition. Uh, I do understand that that is being reviewed right now, what they might look like. Um, so uh, your child would need to have the, if they're going into visual arts, they have to have a portfolio. Um, if they're going into dance, again, they would have to demonstrate some form of interest in dance uh, and experience. Um, same thing with music, same thing, there's even literary arts and so on. Um, but what I will say is all of our schools have some really great arts programs out there. Uh, they may not be um, as big in regards to the number of courses, but you will have the opportunity each year uh, to explore any one of those arts from grade nine to uh, 12. Don't hesitate to ask anything. I am, every question is a good question. All right. Um, do you do Shakespeare and drama? Possibly. Again, it just depends uh, on the teacher. Uh, it depends on what they find of interest. Uh, you'll often find that probably happening more in English class. <laughs> um, it just depends. Uh, there's so many things to consider. Uh, who's in the school uh, uh, and the interest of the students. Uh, overview of a drama class. Hmm. So um, I'll give you an idea. Uh, so the, uh, in drama, you're going to go through the elements of drama that I mentioned earlier. Uh, there's the introduction to movement. So there's tableau, there's mime, uh, synchronized movement, uh, introduction to voice. Uh, so you'll have choral reading, poetry recitation, radio drama, um, acting. So acting, you'll have monologues where the students have to go up and uh, maybe memorize a, a, short, a short piece that they have to perform. Uh, variations on a theme, uh, an original one, a short one act play. And summative, they'll have like a group performance as well as a reflective journal that they would do throughout the entire uh, semester. I hope that helps them. Please let me know if you have any more questions. You're very welcome, Rima. Anytime. All right, we have one minute remaining. Any last questions before you head off to your next session? Thank you very much, Kim. You as well. Please keep in mind, people can email me directly if you have any questions. So Susanna.Donato at OCDSB.ca. I'm just going to put that in the chat. I don't know if you guys can see it. Thank you, everyone. Have a great evening.
Hi everyone, my name is Susanna Donato and I'm the Arts Instructional Coach for OCDSC. I'm going to go into the presentation to share with you about the arts. My apologies, did not go back. Um, so again, welcome to grade nine arts. This is an overview of the arts that the students would be taking in grade nine. What are the arts and what do they look like in grade nine? So the arts that are offered are visual arts, music, drama, dance, and integrated arts. And the focus for arts in grade nine is on the introduction to that particular art, the exploration of the mediums, creating, presenting and communication. There are no prerequisites and they're considered open credit courses. The importance of the arts in the curriculum, what I'd love to highlight is the arts provides students another outlet for sharing what they understand, what they know, and what they have learned. It is absolutely essential for people to create in their lives it's a form of expression and communication that allows um, a different format than traditional learning would in expressing their learning. The creative process is used for all of the arts and it allows students to start off by exploring and experimenting and producing preliminary works um, <clears throat> before they get to the point of producing and creating, uh, along with the feedback that they're receiving from their peers, from their teacher, which allows them to grow their learning and to, de to develop further their art. I'm going to give you a brief overview of the five arts that are offered in grade nine. Um, in visual arts, AVI 1.0, uh, students are focusing on creating studio artwork and appreciation, which is history, as well as creating in various mediums, whether they are drawing, using sculpture, whether they're doing environmental arts or video or animation. These are uh, just some of the things that they might explore. Uh, use of the elements and principles of design will be learned. Those are the basics and the basics of the skills that they're gonna learn for their techniques, how to use the tools and how to use the different mediums. Music is timetabled um, during class, as well as band, which is outside of class, uh, typically early morning before class begins. This is where they would develop their techniques and skills using the elements of music uh, which then they would take all of those elements and apply them to creating um, and performing as well as presenting both uh, informal as well as formal performances. Drama is about taking on roles and creating in a world of imagination. It's learning to work together, to create, to share, and to perform. It's de developing techniques and skills in the elements uh, of drama, such as the role and character, relationship, time and space, uh, place, focus, and emphasis, as well as tension. In dance, students are going to be introduced to movement as a form of expression, to express their ideas, their stories, their feelings, through movement, um, developing techniques of elements of dance, uh, and then using those techniques um, and experiencing a variety of different forms of dance and styles, sharing as well as performing. Integrated arts is, a cr is about creation and appreciation. It's about focusing on various arts disciplines. It's about integrating the aspects of those disciplines together, um, 
exploring creative challenges by using all the elements and principles and the materials um, and focusing on two or more disciplines of arts during this time. So it could be dance, drama, media, arts, music, and visual arts. And if you have any questions for me, I'm happy to respond to them. Let me just stop presenting. <clears throat> All right. Um, you can go into the Q&A part at the very bottom and you can type in your question for me. And uh, no question is too small. Don't hesitate to ask away anything that you might be wondering. It can be on any of the arts, scheduling. Don't hesitate to ask any questions that you might have for any of them, visual arts or music, drama, dance, or integrated arts, what it might look like, specific. Um, if you like, I will type in my email at the at at the very bottom or in the chat. And there you can always send me questions later on. Um, do schools offer photography or cin cinematography as arts courses? Those are definitely some of the options uh, that some schools have. Uh, most do not. Um, there is a media component in visual arts in grade nine and, and grade 10 um, where you can uh, have those opportunities. No problem, Carolyn. If you don't think of anything now and you have a question later on, don't hesitate. You can ask me uh, later on or send me an email. And you can move on to your, um, your next session begins at 8.20. in case you need a break. Thank you much, very much for coming. And uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to send me an email. Uh, are art supplies provided for visual arts? So for the most part, yes, they are. Uh, however, if it is a field that you definitely wanna go into, I would encourage you to purchase some materials yourself 
typically um, there might be a small fee for consumable items because in visual arts you are consuming materials and so they need to be constantly replenished. Um, but even for yourself to have your own pencils, your own um, uh, erasers and, and other tools, a sketchbook, things such as that, uh, if you can have them for yourself, that would be great. Uh, there is also sometimes financial support uh, within the school uh, for anyone who might need it. You're welcome, Isabella.
Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Susanna Donato, and I'm an arts instructional coach for OCDSB. And I'm going to start with sharing my slides with you. And uh, don't hesitate to think of some questions to ask me at the end. All right. So again, welcome to Grade 9 Arts Overview. And I'm just going to chat a little bit about each of the arts and what to expect. Um, so what are the arts and what do they look like in Grade 9? Uh, arts that you can uh, consider are visual arts, music, drama, dance, and integrated arts. It depends on each school. Some schools do not have all, of, all five of the arts. Um, and focus on, is mainly on the introduction to the art, the exploration of the medium, creating, presenting, and communication. There are no prerequisites. These are considered open credit courses. The importance of the arts in the curriculum. Um, through my many years of experience, the arts have always provided uh, students opportunities to be able to express themselves, to show what they learn and understand through many forms of arts, whether it's visual arts, music, drama, dance, uh, or all of them combined. Uh, it is a passion which helps students get engaged and excited in learning. The creative process is used in all of the arts programs. And this process and what it looks like is, is basically allowing the students to explore and experiment to um, test out, create their rough drafts of their work, of their plan, and to get feedback from both their peers as well as their teachers and to go back and redesign and, and, and improve the work that they've created with that feedback and to be able to grow their learning and to further develop their art. I'm going to chat a little bit about each of the arts just to give you a little overview of what they all look like. So Visual Arts ABI 1.0 is basically focusing on creating studio artwork as well as appreciation. It's about creating in various mediums, whether you're drawing, painting, sculpture, um, uh, there's a media component, maybe there's video, animation. There's a use of elements and principles of design that's where students will be um, uh, uh, basically improving their skills in those techniques, in using the tools and in using a variety of mediums. In music AMU 1.0, so that is a timetabled music regular class, and there's also a band which is outside of class time, so it might be early morning. Um, music basically is about developing your techniques and skills, uh, learning the elements of music and being able to then hone those skills and to apply them when they are performing and presenting both informally as well as formally throughout the year. Drama is about taking on roles and creating in a world of imagination to learn to work together, to create, share, and perform. Uh, students are learning to develop their techniques and skills and the elements of drama, focusing on role and character, relationship, time and space, focus and emphasis and tension. Dance ATC 1.0. Dance is to introduce students to movement as a form of expression, to help them express their ideas, their feelings, their stories through movement. It's to help them develop the techniques of elements of dance, such as body, space, time, energy, and relationship. And through experiencing dance in various styles uh, to share them, and to perform them. Integrated arts is about creation and appreciation. It helps students to focus on a variety of arts disciplines uh, of two or more. 
uh, through many challenges that they are combining from these different uh, arts that interest them, that they're passionate about. They'll be using the elements and principles as well as focusing on the different materials and techniques that they are learning and applying them together. Uh, and these will include drama, dance, media arts, music, and visual arts. Thank you so much for your interest in the arts. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to type them in at the bottom. I'm going to stop presenting. And in the bottom, they have uh, the questions and answers right here. So please don't hesitate to um, ask anything regarding specific courses or a schedule or materials, and I'm happy to respond. I'm also including my email address in case uh, in the chat, uh, in case you would like to uh, email me afterwards with any questions. So Susanna.Donato at OCBSB.ca. I believe so, uh, Avalyn, um, that would be, if you're coming new into music, that is the expectation. So when it is, um, the, when there's no prerequisites uh, and it's an open credit course, that means you're coming in with, uh, to, from little to no knowledge of that art. So that would be part of it, most definitely. We still have a few more minutes about um, six, seven minutes at a time. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Anything at all regarding any of the arts um, or any questions about grade nine. So I just put my email again in the chat. It's uh, susanna.donato at ocbsb.ca. Don't hesitate to email me if you have any questions. So what sorts of activities and projects will be included in grade nine drama? Um, so I have that here for you. So what you can expect for the course, um, it would look similar to this in, in most of your subjects, in most of your drama classes. Uh, at any of the schools. And you would start with the, uh, the elements of drama to begin with that I mentioned earlier. Uh, you would go into introduction to movement and that would look like tableau, mime, and synchronized movement. Introduction to voice such as choral reading, poetry recitation, radio drama. Uh, acting would be monologues where students are given a script, a short script where they have to go on up and present uh, in, in character. Uh, variations on a theme, original, short, one act play. So you won't typically see a big play unless there's a production uh, that is happening for the whole school where anybody
you have any other questions for me before you head on out, again, don't hesitate. You can always send me an email just in case. And thank you very much. I appreciate your time uh, and interest in the art. And we are done in like three minutes, I think. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It was great meeting you as well, Vianney. Okay. I think it is pretty much done. <laughs> Thank you again. Take care. <laughs>